Hey everyone, Rich Morton from Isotope, here again at the Plugin Boutique Studios, and today I want to tell you about the interesting new features in our latest release, Neutron 3. Neutron was first launched back in 2016 and was the first Isotope product to feature our assistive audio technology. Then in 2017 we launched Neutron 2, where we further enhanced the tracker system, adding additional instrument classification, further intelligent processing parameters, and three new style characteristics that could be used to determine and further sculpt the sound of your mix. Now in Neutron 3, the tracker system has evolved into the mixer system and includes Track Enhance, which was formerly the tracker system, and the new balance feature. The balance functionality actually listens to your entire session and automatically adjusts and levels all of your tracks around a predetermined focus track. Neutron 3 will actually automatically craft your sound and balance your mix prior to starting, getting you in a great place quicker and easier than ever before. So I'm working with a session here by an artist or a group called Small Pools, and the track's called Insincere, and I've dragged all the tracks into the session. They're all as they were tracked. There's no mixing gone on in this session at this point in time. And I'll just play this now so we can hear it unmixed. So we can actually hear from the session there, the drums are all over the place, the vocals aren't really sitting level in the mix, and all the other sound effects and synth sounds are, are also, you know, just totally out of balance. So essentially, the first step really is to insert Relay or any instance of the Neutron 3 advanced plugin, Mothership, or the component plugins across the session. So as you can see here, every single track has this instance of Relay inserted. And the relevance of that is that Relay is a, a very low level plugin. It's not actually really doing anything complex. It's literally there to facilitate the audio data going to the mothership and the control data coming back. And then that gives you your level control in each instance of the, the, um, the plugin on every single channel. So I've got Relay. And as I say, you could use Neutron 3 or any of the component plugins there. So I go over to my instance of Relay, which I've actually inserted on the master track. And I'm going to bring up the visual mixer as well. So for those of you that aren't aware of the visual mixer, um, every instance of Relay that we've got in the session is visible here and controllable from this, this visual interface. So I can take a, an instance up in level, down, pan left and pan right. Um, now, when we run the mix assistant in Neutron, three advanced on the left hand side there you'll see once we get to the end of the process all of these um, versions of relay that we see here will have been leveled okay so with neutron sat in the session and relay across all of your tracks the next part of the process is to hit the mix assistant button and the first option it will bring up is to ask do you want to run the track en enhance functionality which will go through and set up my eq and compression and my excitation and so on or do you want to balance the session? And of course, what we're doing here is we want to create that initial starting point in the mix. So I click on the balance option and then hit next. Then the next page is actually giving us some instructions as to how we should configure the session prior to using the balance. So inserting the instances of Relay across all the tracks and then making sure that all of your actual DAW faders are all leveled out and everything's pan central. So I click the got it button here. Then the next page allows us to define a focus, so a particular channel within the session that is used to be the, the focal point within the track, and it can be more than one source. Um, now I want to make the focus my lead vocal here. This is the lead, lead vocal for the verse, and then I've got my lead vocal for the chorus. So I select those two by clicking on the focus icon there, and then hit begin listening, and at this point, it's going to wait until I actually start playing the track. So I press play and the enhance feature starts working. So once you've finished playing out your mix and you've clicked on take me to the results, the next page that you're taken to is this um, window here where you can actually see five subgroup faders where you've got a control over your focus tracks, which you defined at the very start of the balance process. You have your voice tracks, you have bass, percussion, and musical. Now, 
what happens when you run the balance process is that the first thing that it'll actually do is identify the track type. So as you can see here, um, it's taken all of the drum tracks that we've got and assigned them into the percussion group. So they are then assigned to this subgroup over here. Um, obviously, if it picks up bass or vocals or any of the other instrument types, it will then assign those to the specific groups. Um, and then based on the groups, it levels them relative to one another um, and then obviously gives you the control over the individual subgroups containing all the, the source tracks. Now, you'll see over on the right-hand side in the visual mixer that all of those instances of, of relay, which were originally sat right at the 0 dB mark, have now all been moved around level-wise. The relevance of this is that it may be that something is misinterpreted or, or maybe um, not analysed correctly um, and placed into the wrong group. Maybe there's a synth kick or something like that, that that is wrongly identified and put into the wrong subgroup. So you can go in and edit the classification. We have a hand clap here that has wrongly been identified as musical, so I want to put that into percussion. Um, if I scroll down here, yeah, everything else seems to look okay. So all my drums have been assigned into the percussion group and my vocals have all been identified as, as vocals, although we have this altar boy down here which has got some pitch shifting going on, so that's kind of confused the algorithm there. So we can reassign that to the vocal group as well. When you reassign a track to a different track type, it will automatically update the levels of that track according to the new group that it's gone into. So you don't have to run the, the balance process again. All you do is just reassign the track type and it will then put it in and re-level it according to the other levels within that subgroup. So I'm going to switch off the edit classification window now. Um, if I go back to the beginning of my session and play this through, uh, I'll start off with the mix in bypass. So you can obviously hear then that the drums are completely unmixed, the drum levels are all over the place, vocal levels are over the place, and also some of the synth sounds that you can hear in the background are kind of cutting, uh, cutting into the mix, and they're obviously all just at completely random levels. If we start the uh, track again and switch off Bypass Assistant, Hopefully you can instantly hear then that everything comes into a much nicer balance overall. Now if I wanted to adjust any of the levels of the subgroups that have been created at this point, I can just use these faders to raise or lower the level. And as you can see by looking over on the right hand side of the visual mixer, all of the tracks that have been placed into the drum or percussion subgroup are actually moving up and down as I adjust those levels with the, the master fader here. So once you're happy with what the balance assistant has actually suggested, you can click the accept button. Before you do that, it's probably a good idea just to use the visual mixer here to take a snapshot of that initial rough mix. So you just click on this plus button here and that will then store that initial balance of the, uh, the levels across the entire session. Um, so you can always refer back to that as and when you need to. But now we've got a great starting place with a really good level balance across the mix. We're ready to carry on with the mix and honing it and crafting it. So thanks for taking the time today to check out the new features in Neutron 3. There are a whole host of features that we haven't had time to cover. However, for more information, check out PluginBoutique.com. Oh,